awesome subscribers and viewers are loving these 24 hour videos and are suggesting new and exciting ways to continue this series. Ken, please enlighten me on how any of these videos are 24 hours. It isn't even 12 hours. I'd say it is more like maybe eight hours from breakfast to dinner. Clearly it is all about the clickbait titles as you could easily call it for the day, but you don't. Like Rob L who suggested, do a day where you eat the most expensive thing on the menu for 24 hours. Well Rob, because of you and the 398 thumbs up you received, I accept your challenge. What challenge? Oh right. More trying to add unnecessary flair to the video to make it seem more exciting than it truly is. So in this episode, we'll be visiting three restaurants and ordering the most expensive food items on the menu. First up is breakfast at Happy All Day Breakfast and Lunch in the town of Newmarket. Then we'll be traveling up to Bradford for lunch at the Halibut House Fish and Chips. And finally ending off our day in the city of Barrie for dinner at Noble Cuisine. So grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy the video. You need to learn how to not have the music track drown out the voiceover. It is amazing to me how you feel your style is so popular. Sorry, Ken, but we all know you only seem to listen to the people who have their lips super glued to your ass. Anyone gives you any hint of criticism and you immediately dismiss it and say they are a troll. It's rather pathetic. I'm going to be ordering the most expensive thing on the menu. Look at that running down the side. That is a mouthful. I wonder what the most expensive thing on this menu is. And it is... And we are at a place called Noble Cuisine. What could I have gotten at a Japanese restaurant that was so expensive? Dip it in. Mmm, itidakimasu. At least he used a Japanese phrase at a Japanese restaurant. Remember when he was at another Asian themed restaurant and he did that? Guess Ken must feel that they all look alike, so who cares if I use it out of place? I believe it was a Thai restaurant. All right, we are at our first location in the sunny, beautiful town of Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. And our first location of the day is called Happy. Operating his drone on private property again without permission and putting the business or property owner at liability should he cause any damage or injury. Ken still has not provided proof that he has the proper license or permit to operate his drone as the model he has is over the weight that does not require one. We have all seen how Ken doesn't pay any attention to the laws. All day breakfast and lunch. Uh, so we're gonna go in there. It opened at eight o'clock. It's around nine o'clock now. Uh, I'm gonna be ordering the most expensive thing on the menu. I did do a quick pre-look and it looks like it's a steak Benny. The Happy Omelette for $12.95 would have been the most expensive item, not the Steak Benny, as there were add-on options to make the omelette more money. Typical Ken picking the item he wants over following his own rules. It's got two poached eggs and a six ounce sirloin steak. Uh, I'm also gonna grab a coffee and an orange juice. Chances are the whole bill is gonna come to over $15 and that would be probably one of the most expensive breakfasts uh, I have ever ordered. Let's go grab it, come back here and eat it. Uh, I'd love to order your uh, steaks, Benny. Crappy montage scene using the lame music, the stupid shots of him swinging his feet out of his car, walking, and then shooting the ground before transitioning to the beautiful BJ angle and not letting the staff know he is filming. Kudos to you, Mr. Domic. Uh, medium, please. And I'll do an orange juice and a large coffee, please.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Can't forget to do the holding all the shit in the left hand and filming as he walks out segment. That is important, people. All right, guys, we are back in the car. Surprised he didn't film himself getting back into the car and exclaiming about that. Here comes the fucking steering wheel tray segment where he spins it around and raises an eyebrow as if that is some amazing trickery. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? So it came to, as I predicted, over $15. $20.51. Very expensive breakfast, but I bet it's going to be awesome. Predicting it would be over $15. How would you have ever guessed that, Ken? It was just shy of $13 and taxes without any additional charges, like adding the juice and coffee, would be $14.63. We already know you are going to rate the food high as it is something you have said you enjoy elsewhere. You don't give the food an unbiased chance. Uh, I asked for no fork or knife and I'll show you why in a second. So they gave me a little pouch of condiments and salt and peppers. We got our steak sauce. We got some orange juice, Tropicana, one of my favorites. And then we've got our big trough Guess you are a farm animal now, Ken? You said trough. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Of eggs, Benny. So in this little bag, she gave me some napkins. Uh, looks like we've got... <laughs> never, never seen this before for a breakfast place, but that's kind of cool. We've got uh, a couple vinegars, which I don't think I'll be using in, in any of this meal. Then we got ketchup, ketchup ketchup salt and peppers i might leave them out if anything i'll do one of each so i'll put them in there for later and then a candy to freshen your breath i guess pointless filler showing us each item one by one i think we all know what condiments look like ken so uh one of my amazing subscribers sent me this his name is michael all the way from perth australia thank you buddy and uh it came with uh three Utensils that you can use and reuse. We got a spoon, which I don't want to be using today, uh, and then we got our knife, which hopefully will cut steak nicely. And we got a fork. All right, let's get into this. Wow, holy crap! That is a lot of hollandaise sauce. You can't even see the steak. Let's go in for a close up. All right, guys, there is your extreme close up of this eggs, Benny. Check out those home fries, golden brown steaming up the lens fantastic they look extra crunchy we'll be putting some salt on there and there is our poached egg eggs look as if they could be rubbery due to being overdone just from a visual appearance to me i'm sure ken likely says it is perfection or something along those lines with our hollandaise sauce you can kind of see the steak i asked for medium what what uh, style steak would you want I'm a medium to medium rare kind of guy. And of course there's our double poached eggs and we got a little parsley on top. Let's pepper this and salt this thing up and start eating. First things first, gotta have the pepper. Love pepper on my eggs by me. There we go, pepper it up. Gotta salt it up. When I cut into this thing, it should run if it's done properly. And it is running a little bit. Not bad, not as runny as I like it. That's by my own personal flair on this. Let's try this one. Maybe uh, it's just taking me too long to get to it and it's overcooking itself. Oh yeah, check that out. Mmm, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Steak, this is the first time I think I've eaten steak in the car. All right, there we go. Steak Benny. Mmm. The next thing we have to try is a little steak sauce. I've never had steak sauce either with hollandaise sauce, so this will be interesting. Let's cut off another piece. The other thing I missed on the first run was a bit of that English muffin. There we go. All assembled, finally. It's not the easiest thing to do in your car. And then a little bit of steak sauce on top of that. Doesn't that look delish? 
So now he is saying delish. Too lazy to say the extra syllable? It would look more appetizing if we didn't have to see you eating it honestly. You asked, and I'm giving you some honest feedback, Ken. That is beautiful. Let's check out some of these potatoes. Nice and hot, almost overdone. Cooked a little too long for me, but still fine. Kind of like your channel, it's overcooked and should be tossed to the wayside as it is no longer fine. Funny how he complains about the food being overcooked for his taste, but then says it is still fine. Get this next piece out. It is a nice big piece of steak, it really is. The other problem with these trays is the knife cuts through them very easily, so I'm trying to not get that deep with my knife. Okay, come on. Come on, eggs. There we go. Mmm. Hmm. I wasn't sure if this was toasted. It doesn't taste like it's toasted. It's kind of kind of soggy from all the holiday sauce. I don't think they toasted it. He doesn't know if it was or wasn't toasted. So to make that assumption is defamatory of him. Considering it had hot steak and sauce all over it, it likely would have gone soggy and hidden any knowledge of it being even lightly toasted. That's another uh, kind of pet peeve of mine. Most people toast the, uh, the English muffin. It just tastes better when you have that crunch. Hey Ken, fuck off with that pet peeve bullshit in giving the place a passive aggressive reaction when you do not know if it wasn't toasted. Just makes you look like the arrogant ass that you come off as. And the flavor of toast. So that's a pretty big steak. It actually ran across both eggs and around. There we go, a little bit of egg. A little bit more egg. Can we do it? Yes, we can. There we go. Balance. Balance. Good balancing act. Well, thank you. Not only does he have to congratulate himself on not spilling food on him, but he then has to thank himself too? He is that egotistical, it seems. This is a big one. Ooh la la. I got all the elements. Oh my gosh, that's a big bite. We're definitely going to put some of this steak sauce on there. Let's go for a double, a double steak sauce dip. Look at that running down the side. That is a mouthful. I can do it. Just had to do the stupid ooh la la. Then apparently using a knife to put steak sauce on the bite is now considered dipping. Sort of like how dripping sauce and cheese is considered a cheese pull. Mm-hmm. First time doing the steak penny. Supporting my local mom and pop shop. This is not local to you, Ken. If you gave a shit about mom and pop places, you wouldn't go to franchise places all the time. Whenever you go to these types of places, you cry over the cost. Remember when you kept bitching about the cost of the milkshake and burger from Rudy? Not everyone is as cheap as you are. Look how yummy that looks. Mm. So now I can throw in a couple of my taters, lather them up. Mm. I guess the next step would be a seafood or a lobster, Benny. That would increase the price a little bit, I think. Oh, well, we got some egg, some potato. Another monster, monster bite just to get her done. Mm-hmm. Bottom of that English muffin looked toasted to me as it was darker. So I think you owe that restaurant an apology for your passive aggressive rant. Move the fries over. Mix them up. And now down.
perfect. I was so excited to get into this Eggs Benny, I forgot to uh, review their coffee. Let's just rip the lid off for a second. Oh, they double uh, cupped it so I didn't burn my hand. Smells okay. Check it out. Luckily, it's still hot. It tastes, uh, has like a nutty uh, note. It has a, a nutty note. I didn't notice what coffee they used, but it's strong. It's hitting the spot. Well, that was a poor review of the coffee. Nutty note, still hot, strong and hitting the spot. That says very little about it at all. Good job, Ken. And of course we got our Tropicana. Love Tropicana orange juice. And they've got this really cool top. Uh, pull, pull, there we go. I love orange juice with my eggs, Benny. Cheers. Mmm, no pulp. All right, guys, all done. Next time you're in Newmarket and you're craving some breakfast and you want to try something new, hit up Happy all day a breakfast and lunch and get the steak, Benny. It was fabulous. Wonder how long it took him to come up with the fabulous instead of just saying phenomenal like he always does. All right, let's go check out downtown Newmarket and then we'll hit up lunch. My name's Ken Domic and here I go with my stupid drone footage that I probably bought. And now I'm gonna start driving around town and holding the camera, driving distracted. Probably gonna get in an accident one day. But I need to use stupid music and the guy that reacts to me doesn't like it so he cuts it out of his videos and does stupid voiceovers like this because it makes me look even stupider. More distracted driving from Ken as you can see from his hand holding the camera in the mirror. Quit being a danger to other people, Ken, just for your fucking videos. Here we can see in the mirror him reaching around the passenger seat to again hold the camera while he is driving. Ken should be reported for this nonsense. It is now lunchtime and I am now in the sunny town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada at Halibut House. A lot of you guys recently been asking me to do a fish and chip shop and this is a brand new shop. It's only been around maybe about a year and we're going to go, go in there, grab the most expensive item, bring it back here and eat it with you. Let's go again. Looks like this might be the most expensive thing on the menu. Oh no, this one right here. The house special, $27.95. Holy cow, let's do it. Hello, I'd like to order the most expensive thing on your menu and it looks like it's the house special. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, let's eat. All right, guys, let's set this all up. Uh, after taxes and everything, it came to $33.75. Uh, it's interestingly packaged. It's like paper wrapped and then inside a paper bag. And I'm guessing in here would be the vinegar, ketchup, We'll put lay them out nice and organized on there. Uh, seafood sauce, more vinegar, more ketchup, more vinegar, more ketchup. Too much. Oh, and then we've got uh, we got the tartar sauce, and it is crazy hot. It smells definitely like a fish and chip shop in my car. Oh, that's why. All right, so it was stacked that way, but packed in this way, wrapped around the bottom. Very interesting. So much mindless filler. Just had to keep it for the video length. It is sad that he doesn't know that legit fish and chip places used to wrap things in newsprint paper. I bet he doesn't know enough to spread the food out onto it. I've never seen a fish and chip shop wrap it up like that. So it's, they, they somehow got this whole meal in one box, jeez, killer, woo, 
Oh my goodness, I think we bit off more than we can chew. Can you scratch that, guys? Can you, sniff, can you smell the deep fried goodness that we are about to eat? See, he clearly hasn't been to a quality fish and chip place based on the fact he has not seen things wrapped like that. I bet if we had Long John Silvers in Canada, he would consider that A plus fish and chips. Also, no, Ken, we can't smell the greasy, calorie laden food you are about to scarf down. Wow. I'm thinking the only thing I, I'm possibly missing is lemon. Would you guys put, I'd put lemon on, lemon on that for sure. Open up our Coke. Show the logo. Cold and refreshing. Not sure which is worse, the exaggerated <coughs> or cold and refreshing. That was clearly acted out. I'm going to venture a guess and say that we hear more complaining about not having lemon. Oh my goodness, people. Extreme close up. Check out that onion ring. That fresh piece of halibut, deep fried in golden brown batter, light batter. It looks like that's a shrimp. And down there is a scallop. We have those beautiful french fries. The heat is just coming up towards my hand. Can't wait to get into this thing. Holy schmoly. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. So I normally would put vinegar on my onion rings, but I, I want to get to this french fry first. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I almost got it out. Oh, look at the size of these chips, people. These french fries are super hot. Oh, look how it pulls apart. Will it pull apart? Oh my gosh, they're burning my fingers. Burning. See the crispiness on the outside? Mmm. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a greasy meal for sure. I'm gonna be really full. Okay, that looks like a scallop. Would you put anything on the scallop? I like my scallop straight up. Mmm. Check out the freshness of that scallop. I'm too distracted by the gross sounding groans he is making, plus the open mouth chewing going on as he tries to show off the scallop, even though the sunlight is making that impossible. Scallops should not be breaded and deep fried. That is bastardizing them. That's beautiful. All right, next up will be a shrimp. Oh yeah, tail on, dip, bite. Wow. Nice light batter, crispy, and that shrimp is beautiful, beautiful shrimp. Mm. Going in for another shrimp, not sure how many shrimp they give you, it looks like possibly only two. But they're big, ooh la la. Ken, people are tired of the sexual innuendo nonsense, given that you overplay your sticks to death. Very crunchy. I'm kind of hoping you heard that. Let's see if you can hear this one. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he didn't boost the gain on the audio like he did with the KFC chicken to make it sound better in post. <laughs> what makes you think people want to see your yellow beer-stained teeth gnashing away on food close up, Ken? Honestly. Do you find that appealing? Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm gonna dip this next scallop into the seafood sauce. Mm-hmm. Well, this is awesome. It's a wonderful lunch. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to eat dinner. So they use a malt vinegar, it looks like. Let's do a little bit of malt vinegar on there. Uh, they didn't give us salt, so that's all right. Hopefully it's salty enough. I like the style of uh, onion ring. Nice and thin. I don't like those really big ones. Oh, looks like they give you three shrimp. Nice. Put a little more of this malt. It's been a while since I've done malt vinegar. Mm. 
I would think that a fish and chip shop would give you a uh, lemon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Told you so. Not watching these beforehand and reacting during the initial watch is far more entertaining for me. Chances are we get one more mention of it when he finishes stuffing his face. Lemons cost money, Ken. So had you asked, they would likely have provided it to you. To just hand it out with every order would be another cost and thus eat into the profits. This is one reason you should never consider opening a restaurant. Quick sip. All right, guys, going in for the piece de resistance, the halibut. Let's pull off a little corner of this tartar sauce. Grab the whole fish. Holy schmoly. Very expensive. Very expensive fish. Uh, the cod is much cheaper if you wanted to save money and still have a nice uh, fish and chip experience. Check out how golden brown that sucker is, eh? Smells beautiful. Let's put a little tartar right there. Give her a little bite. What a fucking pig you are, Ken Domic, to eat like that. I have never in my life seen someone eat a piece of fish the way you just did. I don't care that you are in your car. You have eaten plenty of other dishes using cutlery but today you feel that is proper manners? Would you do that at the dinner table? Highly unlikely. I'm calling it like I see it. Stating it as I did was actually an insult. Mm. A very nice tasting fish. I'm really liking mackerel right now, but this is very, very good. Comparing mackerel to halibut, are you kidding me? Mackerel is a fatty fish and halibut is a lean white fish, so completely different ends of the spectrum. Once again, showing a total lack of food knowledge. Hell, you said cod was good enough to compare to halibut. Sorry, but cod or even haddock are not at all the same as halibut. Cheaper, yes, but a completely different experience. So having cod wouldn't give you the same feeling. Uh, their, their batter is really light. I've been to places where it's huge and puffy. Uh, it's like a beer batter. Uh, I like those places too, but this is nice. I'm, I, like I said, I'm enjoying it. But still, look at that beautiful, beautiful white fish. Woo. And this tartar sauce is definitely a bonus. Look at that chewing with his mouth open. And let's zoom in for a second. Doesn't that just look so yummy to you? That hunk of fish that is trying to escape his mouth? Yeah, I don't feel it is appealing to look at either. I'm definitely going to be coming back here. This is my first time ever to a halibut place. I put it up on, on my social media that I was eating here. Didn't say exactly what I was eating or, or the gist of this whole video. Just enough for no spoilers. But uh, a lot of people said that they have one of these locations near them and uh, I'm in for a treat and I am. Thanks for the feedback. Hmm. I guess I should be going back and forth. Fish, chip. Mmm, I wanna do that one. Fish, fry, shrimp. Took him a moment to remember that was a shrimp. Ken is definitely turning into a toddler given how he has to tell us exactly what he is eating or when he is all done something. Baby all done, baby all done. Little Kenny boy needs to tell an adult when he is finished his meal. Oh. A white Lamborghini. Oh, go by. Right. Go see it. Beautiful car. You hear that? Sexy. I'm going to come back another time and order like a whole tray of shrimp or something. Because those shrimps are amazing. 
and the scallops are dynamite. Mm. Look at the size of these fries, man. These chips. That's the exact kind of chip you want at a fish and chip place. A nice, big, thick, chunky fries. Or go to a non-chain place that actually makes homemade chips. They do frozen fries at the halibut house. Yes, they are better than other frozen fries, but still frozen. Ken loves subpar food, though. Not wedges, not skinny fries. It's got to be thick, huge, chunky fries. Agree or disagree? Mmm. Need more tartar sauce. Fish is great, but when you add that tartar sauce, wow, what a great combination, eh? I'm just loading it on. Mmm. So creamy, a little on the sweet side. Funny how he will eat tartar sauce given that it has relish, which is made from pickles. Although he has tried to tell us that he just loves pickles now, which is a lie. Ken, pack on those calories though, to add to that gut. That was a wonderful lunch. Mmm. Try the ketchup on these fries. These are definitely the fries that you want to dip. I'd love to have been able to have eaten in the restaurant. I can't wait till they get to stage three so I can start eating in these restaurants for you. Ken, you make me sick. It is amazing that you know the stages and what that means as far as the reopening of the province, but yet you are fucking oblivious to the fact that reopening of restaurants and bars in the United States was one reason why they are getting over 50,000 new cases per day. I'm serious. Go to the fucking United States, catch the virus, and then stay there and pay for the medical treatment out of pocket. Don't expect the Canadian taxpayers to foot the bill for your ignorance, you oaf. A proper knife and fork on a plate. In the restaurant. I'm not gonna be able to finish all these chips, man. Oh, bonus. I guess they give you three scallops. I think this would be my third scallop. And I'm gonna dip it again. I, I, it just definitely tasted really good with that dip. Mm, so tender. Wow, the flavor of scallops is so different and unique and it just it has just that amazing seafood flair to it. It is beautiful. If you've never had fresh scallops, you please give it a shot. Fresh scallops shouldn't have a seafood taste, Ken. The fact you are going nuts for a frozen scallop that was breaded and deep fried only shows your ignorance to quality food. Mm. Doing that was pointless. And there goes the Lamborghini. Gotta make a few more videos to afford that sucker. And he just went right through the stop sign. Did you see that? Firstly, you will never be able to afford one of those. Secondly, it was a rolling stop, which many people do, even if it is technically an offense. Thirdly, you pointing out someone else doing a traffic violation when you drive around with a seatbelt on or distracted driving by holding cameras to film is far more egregious, you putts. All done my fabulous lunch at Halibut House. If you have a Halibut House near you, check out their house special. It's got a little bit of everything and you'll love every single thing as much as I did. Let's head up to Barry, then have dinner. It is dinner and I am hungry once again. It is dinner? Ken can't even use proper sentences anymore, it seems. I guess that's something else that he's removing from his channel. That we are in the sunny city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada, and we are at a place called Noble Cuisine Thai and Japanese food. Let's go in there and order the most expensive thing on the menu. So this was the most expensive single meal on there, but again, they didn't say that they're gonna give me a, a cookie or they're gonna give me, what is this? I bet this is gonna be 
Uh, edamame. Oh, it's a little salad. And this is probably like a miso. And it is a miso. Good thing they gave me a spoon. <laughs> you can just drink it, right? Itadakimasu. I already pointed out during the preview his overusing the Japanese phrase. It is funny that he made a passive-aggressive comment about not having a spoon. Funny given that he should have had that foldable spoon from earlier in the day, but Ken doesn't like to think at times. Thankfully, we didn't get all the montage footage again. Whoa, sip that a bit too quick. Oh, I love their... Their miso is beautiful, a little bit of seaweed. Oh yeah, a little bit of tofu. Wow, that is crazy hot. I'm gonna put that over there for a little bit. All right, let's open this up. Oh my God, isn't that the most beautiful array of sashimi you have ever seen? Sashimi? It is sashimi, you oaf. If you can't even get that right, then you might as well quit. It is arrogant to go around saying you are a food reviewer when you can't even say the simplest food items properly. Stick to burger and fries. Just the way they've laid it out, it's all perfect. Uh, I believe those are clams, sea clams or something. I'm, I'm gonna have to guess at some of these things because it's been a while since I've had sashimi. I definitely know that that's salmon. And those are lemons. And then we got our wasabi. Oh goodness, this is gonna be fun. Again, I like to put my wasabi and mix it in with my soy sauce. And they gave us those lemons, so I think we should utilize those as well, just for flavoring. All right, going on with the lemon. Just a little squeeze a little lemon on our fishies. Open our nest tea. Show the logo. So I know this is salmon. Uh, I guess I'll do that first. So I got a nice big chunk of raw fish. Dip it in. Mmm, itidakimasu. Ken thinks that makes him refined and cultured when in reality it just makes him look stupid. Keep doing it though, Ken, because I'll keep telling you how stupid you are for doing it especially when you use it at a non-Japanese restaurant. Mmm. Fresh salmon. Wow, nice and fatty. Okay, let's get this piece. Okay, what, what do you guys think that is? Number, fish number two. Leave a comment in the comment section below because I have no idea. Nope, no idea what that is. I think this is called sea clam. Had that before, I know what it is. Very recognizable, much chewier than the other two. If you've had octopus or squid, it kind of has that same kind of flair to it. Let's do this. This could be white tuna, I don't know. It's kind of ringing a bell just looking at it. Mmm. Just melt in your mouth, that one. Okay, what is this one, guys? Mmm. Different texture. And last but not least, what is that? I don't know. Tastes good. Does no research, so of course he doesn't know the different kinds of fish he is eating. The real cherry on top is him saying, I don't know, tastes good, before he even tried it. That is how all the food reviewers must do it, eh? Saying something is amazing before ever tasting it. Oh, this has a crunch to it. It's amazing how all these different fish have such unique textures and flavor. Maybe I should add that to the, oh, there we go. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the shredded vegetable and put some of the salmon together. Mmm. It took me a long time to get used to uh, sashimi. 
because it is a, an experience and a half. I wish they had put mackerel on there. I can recognize mackerel too. Really enjoy mackerel. Okay. And how they how they prepare it. That's another one of my favorites. Oh, they're all good. They're all good. They really are. Usually when I find out I don't like one over the others. I'll eat them first and then end my overall experience with the one I like the most and uh, it's a toss up man all three of those bottom ones uh, are, are really good I like that one too I guess this is my, the one I least like oh but moments ago, you said it was tasty before you even put it in your mouth. Funny how it is the one you like the least. What a hack. So maybe I'll, I'll mix that one up with a little bit of this vegetable. I'm not sure if it's just shredded lettuce or very finely shredded. If I could just pick this up, that would be great. Dunk. Come on. Show your skills. Ken's skills include bitching, complaining, being passive aggressive, drinking copious amounts of booze, barfing into buckets, begging for money, not taking the pandemic seriously, and being an ignorant and arrogant person. None of these skills apply to this situation, unfortunately, Ken. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> And definitely helped. Time for a little salad. Mix that in. Oh, they put cucumber on there. I'm not a cucumber lover. See, told you he was lying about how he was telling people he loves pickles now. Doesn't even like cucumbers. <laughs> it's in there. It's taking out most of the container. Let's check out what kind of uh, salad dressing that is. Hmm. Kind of a creamy vinaigrette. Mmm. Wow, sweet. That is good. I don't know what they put in that. It's like a little bit of a texture to it. I'm not sure if it's carrots or... I'm going to put that on there. That way it'll kill the flavor <laughs> of the cucumbers. As everyone knows, cucumbers have such an overpowering flavor, Ken. Are you for real? You aren't a food reviewer. You have got to be a food troll. That is the only thing that makes sense to me. I'm going to eat some cucumbers just for you guys. Here we go. I'm going to find out what that salad dressing is. Because it is phenomenal. Couldn't make it through a whole video without him saying phenomenal. <laughs> that salad was way better than I thought it was going to be because of that dressing. More piggish behavior as he drinks the remaining dressing. Good job on your total lack of manners today, Ken. Your mother should be so proud of you. A little bit more of our miso soup. Little bits of green onion in there for flavor. And it gets a little bit of a crunch once in a while. There you go. So if you love sashimi, let me know in the comments below which one would be your favorite. This is one of mine. Sashimi. Not that hard, Ken. I let a few go as I was too bothered to have to correct you on them all, as you'll keep saying it wrong anyways. Which is fine, until you get passive aggressive when someone corrects you. All of them are good though, aren't they? A little more dip, a little more dip. Mm. 
Nice big chunk of salmon. Yeah, baby. Mmm. What a wonderful tasting fish. Best for last. It's just fun eating and tastes great. Mmm. All right, guys, we are all done. The most expensive item at Noble Cuisine, and it was brilliant. I recommend it highly. Brilliant. Between that and fabulous, you must have had to really dig deep into the vocabulary today, Ken, to come up with those. This video was neither brilliant nor fabulous for the record. Same mediocrity we have come to expect from KBD Productions TV. Once again, guys, I'd love to thank Rob L for suggesting this awesome idea of going from restaurant to restaurant for 24 hours and ordering the most expensive thing on the menu. And I'd also like to thank the 387 people who liked his... Your phone says it is 5.09 p.m., meaning you ate dinner around 4.30 p.m. So you started at 9 a.m., meaning 4.30 p.m. would be seven and a half hours. Yeah, that is totally 24 hours, Ken. Comment got it to the top so I would notice it. If you know other restaurants with really expensive items, let me know and we'll make more of these videos for this series. Thanks again, Rob. Oh yeah, these were some really expensive items you ordered today, Ken. He chose poorly. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this wicked playlist and I'll see you over there. Ken once again copies a trend and makes sure to make the title a misleading clickbait one for greedy purposes. As I pointed out, Ken spent seven and a half hours of his day doing the video, so nowhere near the 24 hours he makes claims of. There is no reason other than clickbait that he could not have referred to this as for the day. Although it was extremely annoying to have to listen to him being his typical passive aggressive self. I had to restrain myself a number of times from wanting to lash out at him in the same arrogant way he does. Why? Simply because that is the sort of emotion that Ken brings out in people. Seeing him act disrespectful is a major pet peeve. I don't get how someone can go around in life feeling as much entitlement as Ken seems to feel he is expected to be shown. Sad thing is, Ken is going to keep milking this 24-hour nonsense repeatedly as he thinks it is the most amazing concept. This, coupled with his demeanor and his poor attitude, is why his channel flounders, or plateaus, compared to so many other channels that were started well after his and have just shot right past him. Ken resents those people and can't understand why they succeed when he doesn't. JP and Julia are prime examples. They seem like the sweetest people on and off camera, and they have left Ken in the dust. They are innovative, unique, and they take trends, but they put a spin on them to make it different. This is far too much effort for Ken. It has been a while since I've mentioned this, but if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Share the video around as we are trying to grow not only this channel's subscriber count, but the entire Kendomic Critique Community, or KDCC. I'd really like to push towards getting to the 1,000 subscriber mark personally, so that as soon as I'm able to apply for monetization, I can. The community tools would be an immensely beneficial asset for my ability to communicate things to y'all. As always, I'd sincerely appreciate all the love, support, comments, and appreciation you show on this channel. I really try and ensure I respond to all the comments provided I have something worthwhile to say. Sometimes I miss some as I realize that the YouTube Studio comment page is buggy. So, my apologies to those 
who may have taken that as me ignoring them. Thanks for watching another Ken Domic Dissemination Expose. But until next time, KDDE out.